pastor begging the community to um, help us with that. By a unanimous decision, Boise School District students will be learning remotely through at least mid-January. The school board tonight making that vote as COVID spreads throughout the community. The district has reported about 160 cases of the virus since November 3rd, and that's led to roughly 1,500 students and staff in quarantine. That obviously is putting a dent in the district's plans. Our Joey Prechtel joins us with details on a story that is impacting a lot of families tonight. Joey, this is a crucial step, but it's not going to kick off right away, is it? Yeah, that's right, Mark. Students will be in the hybrid model for one more week, so this change to remote learning will not happen until the week actually after Thanksgiving break. Now, the reason why the district is doing this is so teachers can meet with their students just a couple more times, kind of go over the lesson plan for the next two months, and it's also meant to give families time to plan since students will be learning from home once again. Now, Superintendent Kobe Dennis told the board today the district cannot continue to, to make it work operationally. He also reiterated to the board that the problem in the spread of COVID-19 isn't actually happening inside the schools. It's happening outside the community, which is then impacting the schools. Here's what two board members had to say to the community about this. And I feel like as a community, we failed our students. But I do think we can turn this around. I think we have a community that really values education and values our teachers and values our students being in the classroom. It's, it's incredibly unfortunate that our schools and our children who are you know, gonna suffer the most are put in this position. And because of the fact that people outside of our walls won't do what they're supposed to do. Some issues the district is running into are a shortage of substitutes. There's also inconsistent learning among the students because of all of the quarantines and they're having a hard time filling certain positions. And there is also a shortage of bus drivers. And along with this switch to remote learning, athletics and extracurriculars are suspended immediately. This also includes practices and workouts. Mark. This was kind of suspected that they would be headed down this road and now they made it official. All right, Joey Prechtel reporting for us. Joey, thank you.